What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. Today is another episode in the Chasing the Best Chainsaw Bar series. This is the Oregon Reduced Weight Bar. So if you're interested in what I have to say about it, well, stay tuned. All right, so now that we're out at the wood pile, I wanted to show you guys a couple different things with these bars. Um, I'm not gonna fire it up and run them because there will always be a keyboard warrior that says, oh, you don't have PPE on, or your form sucks, or, or there's always gonna be somebody, you're never gonna make everybody happy. So um, it's kind of hard to get a 36 inch bar in frame with me here, but I have the Oregon reduced weight in both 36 and 28 inch. So. Uh, I don't find that the torsional rigidity changes when you go up to a 36, it's not very flimsy, uh, and the 28 is not very flimsy at all either. So the only thing bad about these bars is they have been discontinued. So there are plenty of them still out there. Your local dealer might have to uh, do some searching in order to get you one of these bars, but at the uh, 170 uh, about $168 mark and about uh, $185 mark. Not too shabby for a 36 inch bar of you know, this kind of caliber. So the thing I like the most about these bars is they look awesome. So that second kind of cool where, you know, you want your bar to look good, um, these definitely foot the bill. Now, as far as the paint holding up, I don't have a lot of cut time on this bar um, and the paint's pretty much wearing off. I mean, you get it pinched in one stump or, you know, you have a little bit of rubbing on it, they don't hold up. So if you're that kind of person that likes that second kind of cool and you like your bar to stay nice, well, these aren't really gonna hold up to what you're looking for. So uh, one thing I wanted to sh whoa, hey girl, easy killer. All right, get out of here. All right, one thing I wanted to show you guys while we're out on the pile is the uh, rigidity in the bar and how much it torques. So I'm gonna put it down on this here and you see it does have a little bit of bend to it. I mean, how often are you going to be doing this with your saw? Um, probably hardly ever, but I wanted to see uh, exactly on camera how much it's bending. Um, there, there is some flexibility to these bars. Um, if you're a guy that really likes a rigid bar, um, this is probably just under the Canon Duralight rigidity. Uh, this is not going to give you as much rigidity as a Forester Platinum or a Canon uh, Super Bar, but it's going to give you a lot more than a Sugihara or uh, one uh, you know a Japanese uh, made bar. So you're getting a little bit more rigidity in it. A 36 inch is obviously going to flex more, you know, but it still is pretty darn rigid for some of your bigger cuts. So another big thing when we're talking about bars and we're talking about uh, the quality is the rail. So, you know, the groove down the rail and just how precise it is really depends on, you know, how good they machine it, but it takes or puts in chatter in your chain. So if you have some sloppiness there in the groove of your bar, um, that guide groove can really give you a lot of chatter when it starts to get wore out. Uh, like I said in the Canon Duralight video, if you haven't seen it already, I'll link it below and up top here in the card. But their groove is absolutely perfect. I've never seen a groove as nice as a Canon Duralight bar. Uh, and that reduces a lot of chatter. That allows that chain to ride right down the rail and gives you virtually no vibration whatsoever, no wobbling of the chain inside the guide bar. So uh, these have pretty much the uh, right on par with a lot of, uh, you know, the steel ES light. Um, a lot of the bars, they have the same kind of, you know, what I would say, same groove uh, and same precision. But that Canon bumps it up uh, to another, uh, you know, another 
uh, step that nobody else is on. So these are pretty much right along par with a lot of the bars. Um, I will put the exact weight of the 28 inch here. I'm going to uh, actually do a video where we're going to weigh every single variation of bar in 28 inch um, that will probably come out tomorrow, honestly. So if you're looking for a, a, uh, a video like that, I'm gonna put out a video where we're just gonna set up the 28 inch bars and we're gonna weigh them side by side and show you guys uh, just how much they weigh. I know a lot of people are talking about, you know, how much do bars weigh and I want the lightest one and all of this. I think a lot of factors go into exactly what makes the best chainsaw bar. So this is probably my second favorite. Uh, that second kind of cool, it looks good, it feels good. You gotta be, uh, you know, looking good when you're cutting wood. So you need a nice, sweet looking bar. Um, this definitely foots the bill. As far as price point, it's gonna be right along the same lines as pretty much anybody else, um, except for, you know, you Sugihara and uh, some of those other Japanese bars are gonna be a little cheaper, but you know, you pay you you pay for what you get here, and I think the Oregon reduced weight is definitely a bar I'd recommend. Um, is it blasphemy to put it on a steel saw? <laughs> yeah, it is, but it still looks good and it runs great. Um, the greasable tip, the replacement sprocket on the end, ah. Uh, I think they are just awesome bar all around. So I highly recommend it. If you're looking at getting an Oregon reduced bar and you can find one, I absolutely recommend them. Um, they're, they're cream of the crop. Um, they're not top notch like the Canons, but they will run for a very, very long time. So uh, I have no qualms with them. They're awesome bars. If you're looking into getting one, think no further. They're pretty awesome. Um, I don't have anything bad to say about them, but you know, their machining could be a little bit better, but for the price point, it is what it is. I mean, you're just not going to get precision ground groove in a $160 bar. So it is what it is. So I hope you guys liked today's video. Um, if you're looking for all kinds of chainsaw content and just all around man stuff, uh, doing stuff around the house, I've got it all. So uh, I don't know what else I'm doing this weekend. I don't know what other kind of videos are gonna come out. I try to keep my content rotating. I hope you guys enjoy it if you're subscribed. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. And if you're subscribed to the channel or you just click that button, I'll see you guys in the next video.